Oh, look at this. What in the world? Dude, it's like a sled. Dude, is this off a of snowmobile? Oh, I know during the winter, people right, dude. Down, they fly up and down no here with kidding. snowmobiles. What is going on today, you guys? Today, I'm super excited to be back at the famous back alley hotspot, you guys. And today, we're actually gonna be heading all the way down to the end here, which we've never been at before. But there's a catch here, you guys. There is a pretty small ledge down there that you almost like need a ladder to get down and get up from. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to figure out a ladder situation to get ourselves down there. Hopefully that works out, you guys. If not, then we'll continue on with something else. But either way, you guys, let's get our magnets out on the water and see how our luck plays out today. All right, everyone. I'm sure this scenery looks familiar if you've watched any of my recent videos here. I've been here more than a few times, you guys. And like I just said in my intro, we were gonna have to figure out some sort of a ladder situation to get ourselves down to that particular platform there, you guys. Just to the left of the fissure, right there is that small concrete ledge that spot looks good enough for us two to do this risky maneuver here you guys hopefully no one gets wet and goes for a swim here but here's that ladder down there you guys it is freaking perfect you see that hook on the end of there what we were thinking is that's gonna hook onto the rail and hopefully not fall down while we're fishing down there and it looks like it might be for this wall probably for if people fall in that's <laughs> help, like the emergency exit that's gonna be us yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be emergency exiting <laughs> we're gonna be like a cat stuck in a tree we're gonna have to call the <laughs> fire department <laughs> so this thing is certainly heavy enough but we're gonna need both of our magnets on there to get this up here you guys all right ready we got both of our magnets yep. here as long as I grab this end and you grab that end. Nice and easy. Yeah. Oh, Dude, it's working too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's dude. Right. Perfect. Alright, here's step one. <laughs> yeah, step That's one. the easy part. <laughs> All right, you guys. We could be getting ourselves into something very stupid right now. <laughs> Yo. Those hooks you're holding on to are gonna work out perfect, dude. <laughs> dude, this is, what are we doing? This is We're such crazy. a good idea. <laughs> We're nuts. I don't think we got all our nuts and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely long enough. Oh, this sweet. is perfect. This is going to work out. Perfect. This is definitely going to work. Yeah, I'm going to just try and pull it over there and at least hook it on. Even the top there, right? right. Just to have it hooked up. Dude, it works. Dude! No it's perfect length. It it's locked perfect. right in, like man. It's made for it. It probably was made for it. No. <laughs> oh, I think it might work, dude. All right, let's get it. We got it locked in and ready to go, you guys. Let's start getting some of our stuff down there and uh, climb down. Super rusty. Hold the man. gate for you a little bit. This is super rusty. Hopefully, one of these rungs doesn't break on me when I'm walking down, dude. <laughs> this doesn't feel stable. <laughs> this does not feel stable. <laughs> The things we do for magnet fishing, holy cow. <laughs> All right, guys, it's our turn to head down here. Let's see how well we maneuver Only down. The thing is watch out right here. These little bitty, there's like- Oh sweat. yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you hit Ooh, you imagine slipping off this thing and falling like, on there? Tripping, well, not even that, but you trip over those real easy. Yeah. Boom, you go in so quick. Dude, this ladder is like perfect for down here. Look at, you even got these support braces. <laughs> I know, it it's keeps like it perfect. nice and sturdy, really dude. This is this. awesome. That is freaking so cool, dude. <laughs> Yeah. What an awesome idea. So here we finally are you guys. Let's get our magnet in the water and see what we can pull up today. Oh my gosh. Dude. What? Oh, look oh. at that, oh, I dude. Have a couple things. Is that an anchor? <laughs> I think no so. No way. I think so, dude. It is. Definitely is. First of all, but I've what never seen world, that come out on Magnet Fishing, dude. I just caught the whole awesome. of a shopping for cart. For sure, dude. That's so oh cool. Oh my gosh, we're going shopping for real. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the stuff he has on there, dude. <gasps> dude, oh what? my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? The yellow thing. Check it out. It's oh. a shotgun shell. Hold on. Dude, there's so much going on here. Holy cow, yup. You ain't kidding, dude. Is that a slug or is that buck? That's buckshot. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. Holy like, how cow. How can you really tell what kind of gauge it is, though? Well, 
Well, this one's uh, 20 gauge because it's smaller. 12 okay. gauges are like yeah, way right, thicker. Right. For sure. Heck yeah. Yeah, we've definitely found more than a few of them down here, dude. Yeah. Holy cow. But check out our magnet here, you guys. We got a couple things going on here too. Like this piece on here. This looks like uh, like a fuel pump lockdown ring. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I'm not quite sure what you guys would think on this, but that's what I think. I think it's for like a fuel pump lock ring there, man. That's super cool. Or maybe it's like a small wheel or like a steering wheel to something. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Let's just start a pile right beside our feet here. Oh, that's weird. What in the world? There's like a lid. Oh, that's what it is. There's a nail in there. So there's like a piece of wood with a nail through it. And then we got this thing. Some bracket thing for something, man. There's two ears where you would nail or bolt it down. Honestly, I think that's like a flagpole holder, dude. You would nail it to like a post or something. You could slide the pole like right down in the center. Not bad at all for our first throw here, you guys. Ooh, we definitely got some nice consistent weight on here, you guys. See if we can get up and over the rocks. Oh yeah, what do we got? Got some? Something. Look. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh. Wow. Damn, dude. That's a nice one. It's stainless. That's what that's that not going to rust. Northwest, Northwest Trail. Holy cow. Dude, that is a nice <laughs> knife, man. Heck yeah. Let's see if it's rusted up and it folds or not. That's huh? that, dude, that was like thrown in a week ago, it looks it like. It does fold. Yeah, heck dude, yeah. Dude, this is like usable. Wow, that's a nice find, Just like dude. a little WD-40 and a simple rinse off, dude. Holy cow, this is ready to clip on your belt buckle. Right? No kidding. Nice find wow, here, you guys. Super nice. Awesome. What else is going on here? Oh, I know what this is. What is that? This is a top that goes on like an oxygen tank. What? Um, so have you ever seen those big cylinders? <laughs> oh, it just pooped. Yeah, it just pooped everywhere. Good thing <laughs> I... Have you ever seen those big, tall, like cylinders? Um, they're usually they're green or they're yeah, red. Yeah, like an air tank. This yeah, yeah. twists up there for, for safety transport. So really? if it falls down and knocks the valve, it hits this cover and it doesn't break the valve really? off and spray on it. I did yeah. not know. So if that. you'll ever look at those tanks, they all have threads right huh. around the valve, and this is what would spin on there. And That's crazy. Protect it. So yeah, I wonder dude. if there's a whole air tank in it's there. It's highly possible, Whoa. but those are heavy, man. I don't even know if our magnets could get those up. Dude, this spot is freaking looking good, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, it looks pretty expensive, man. I'm not just gonna toss this in the river if there's no reason no to, that you is know a what good I mean? Point, right. And that was pretty far out there, it's too. It's so weird. Heck yeah. I feel like I clicked on that way out there. Someone gave it a good toss out there, dude. Ooh, what in the world is all going on here, dude? Look at all the randomness. The only thing I can make out is this horseshoe right here. Yeah. You know how many horseshoes we have pulled right? out of this river? So we oh were kind of deciding because some of them had like teeth on the end of them. If anyone knows the difference between front and rear horse hoofs, go ahead and let me know. This one only has like a little tab on the rear of it. Pretty cool though, man. Definitely getting lucky today. Look at all the other stuff going on here, dude. What in the world is this one? I don't know, it looks like some sort of lever or maybe like a cranker. Oh man, who knows? It's just a thingamajig. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like one of the legs did break off though you guys so it did have probably one of the same legs on the other side too You got any bread? A lather you got, you up. Oh you got a knife too? Heck yeah I got me the old Ooh, butter nice. knife Damn nice dude That sucker looks old Yeah for sure Like the handles like completely withered away on there Got a little bit more weight on here nothing too heavy But what is this now? Ooh it's like a rubber bushing or a grommet or something dude what in the world is this it's really the only thing that like i can make out out of this is just like a big grommet or something man and what it is is there's like a big metal disc in there and that's what i picked up with the magnet kind of strange here man looks like a, a rubber coaster or something Oh yeah, there is something pretty darn heavy on our magnet, you guys. Dude, this spot is throw after throw here. What the heck is this? Dude, I found a um, subwoofer driver. You a can what? 
like a, one of the drivers for a subwoofer. You can see all the coils of the. Uh, oh yeah, you can see the little metal the coil in there. there. Yeah, Heck for yeah. sure, dude. How this do you is, know that's what that is? Well, oh, it sits well, in, it sits in the back of the uh, of the subwoofer. This a metal driver? Is, yeah, I think that's what they call them, huh. drivers, right? I don't know. You can definitely see the coil in there, though. It's got to be electric. That's funky yeah, looking. Yeah, that's super cool. This thing's got some nice weight to it, man. Maybe like two or three pounds. That's a lot of copper in there, man. Yeah, I don't really know the proper term of that piece of the subwoofer that sits in the back there, you guys, of like its cone shape or whatever. <laughs> it's the part that makes the noise, all right? Yeah, I wasn't even trying to grab this. What is going on there, man? I just, I, I did a bad throw and I was just going to try it, and re-throw it and get it out there farther. Right. And I accidentally stuck all this. Dude, holy oh my cow. gosh, you guys. You know what that kind of looks like? It looks like a makeshift sign. It, you know what I mean? it might be. Check that out, dude. How many, oh, how many years do you guys. think that's been down there? Look at the rust build up on there. No dude. It's kidding. like a quarter inch thick. <laughs> Super cool, man. Like oh, oh, what is going on here, man? Holy cow. Oh, look at this one. This one kind of stands out, you guys. Look at that. It's like some weird sensor looking thing, man. You can see these rusted over threads down at the way bottom where it used to screw into something and there's two terminal ends on top, man. That's really cool. Anyone has any ideas there, let me know. This thing is probably way older than me. And what the heck was this here? I have no idea what this was, man. This had to have been broken. It's just one half of something though. I don't really know what to tell you guys about this thing. It just looks like a half of a chunk of pipe, man. In a weird one too, it has like grooves on the top or it might have locked into the other half or something. Oh, What's that now? Dude, what the heck is dude, that, man? Dude, you, you found freaking it's like a Poseidon's trident. Yeah. trident <laughs> right? Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> That's super like cool, dude. Why is it, why is it so long? What the Holy heck would God. you use you guys that for? Think, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, it's peeing all over the place. This is maybe like some kind of fishing tool from back in the day. Oh, dude, and is right. Is it so long because, like, to be able to reach the bottom? You know? Like, look dude, at, right? You could, like, stab fish with that. I mean, look, I, I better That not must do that. have been before it was filthy water. Yeah, I could, like, water. poke a fish with that thing. Yeah, right. There's no way these are legal, dude. We're peeing here, but look at. Look at the prongs on that thing, dude. Yeah, whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at those barbs yeah, that's on no there. That's joke. crazy. Holy cow, man. Dude, that's meant to rip something up. <laughs> Come here. That's a crazy Wow. Thing, dude. Super cool. Got some nice weight on here, dude. Oh, look at this one, dude. What the heck? What Holy doing? cow. I have no idea, but it's oh, oh, careful though. See them yeah, little right. spikes. See what I'm talking about? These little spikes right here, guys. If you ain't careful, you trip right over that and spoosh, you're going for a swim. But look at this thing you just found. Yeah, look at this, dude. What the heck? Is that, that wood? Rusted on there or something. I think so. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, that's wood, dude. It is. Huh. So the wood is kind of just rusted or maybe even nailed on That's there. That's really weird. What the heck do you think this was, dude? Oh my gosh, I don't Who know, knows man. Who knows there, dude? It's just it almost looks like the wood shouldn't be on there. I don't think so. I yeah. think it was like it's rusted like on there. Yeah. yeah, right. That's crazy, dude. So maybe later we'll try to separate the wood from the metal here, you guys. But I have no idea what the heck this was. Other than that, there was probably another hole on the other side there, you guys. And, and it like bolted or mounted onto something there. And we're going to have the scrap whistle. <laughs> or just some weird looking eyelet there for something, man. Check this one out, dude. We have the, oh, that just poked me, careful. There's like an old, old, what looks like a fishing lure or something, man. Maybe not, but it has a hook on it. That's what just poked me there. Super weird. Hopefully it doesn't get me again when I clean up this area. But we also have one of these brass brackets right here. And this is the second one of the same exact thing that I found. It even has both its tabs right there. So yeah, I still don't really know what these are. I'm still thinking that they're like a flagpole holder, you guys. 
Ooh, we got some nice weight on the end of our magnet here you guys that ain't no rocks that's nice and consistent that's what you want what do we got here dude is that wood it is did you see that but oh, dude that was a big big old chunk of wood i hope i caught that on camera that was freaking massive dude holy cow i pulled that thing in so far away you guys i should have reached down there and grabbed it oh i think this is magnetic be real easy with this one here you guys oh ho, yeah what the heck do we got here now dude oh did i get it what the heck is this i think there was something even bigger than this down there you guys the weight got reduced significantly as we were about to get it out of the water there i think we got caught on a rock but dude check this one out man this looks like a big old drum top of like one of those 55 gallons right dude for sure this thing's completely rotted out all on the inside the only thing that's left is like a really sharp and jagged edge holy cow man but i'm gonna try to get my magnet right back over the top of there as i think that there was something else big in there really oh no i came off oh dude i'm gonna get this oh wait no you still on there no i came off man uh, i think i got something though oh no whoa, whoa, whoa. do i have it i got something dude <gasps> Whoa, dude, what it's a mini is ladder. Is it? Oh, you <laughs> know what this so. is? This is a bolt ladder. I'm pretty sure, or maybe not. I could be wrong, oh, but yeah, like this hangs dude, off the sure. boat, and you, yeah, you, you know, you use little right. steps to get up on the boat. Definitely, dude. At least I think that's what that is. You're that ain't no right. 15 foot wall climbing <laughs> ladder, that's for <laughs> sure. Or tire rim or anything that we've caught so far. What the heck, dude? Look at all these springs in here. That's what that is, right? They're all just a bunch of springs or rings or something. It's super weird. It's got to be off the same item there, you guys. Dude, here we go. What the heck, man? Well, first of all, oh, yeah, what is that, this? Dude. Some kind of sex. A license plate. Oh, it is. Look at that. What does that say? S-O something. Yeah, right. S-O-E. Oh, man, that's tough. Holy that's cow. Really tough. Oh yeah, I think it does. It says December. Or wait, no. I don't know, yeah, man. It's tough. This dude, one's definitely cool. gonna be worth cleaning up yeah. for sure, so we can see the what this says. The only issue is I think that's gonna kind of yeah, a little it crack in the middle. A bit. Right. That's still super cool. Heck though, yeah, dude. man. I don't know what that There's is. There's the big thing on there though. But you guys, thing? check this out. I don't know if this was the thing that I was talking about that was way heavier than everything else we found. But oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, dude. That's weird. My, my That's a super strange one. So half of this is actually wood there. And there's like a metal ring that has rusted itself to it there. Holy cow, dude. I have no idea what that is. It's starting to fall apart at the end there. Yeah, not much else to say about this one. It is way too beat up and rusted. Dude, got some nice consistent weight on here now, you guys. Oh yeah, look at this one, dude. Got a few things going on here. Oh, <gasps> dude. Oh, I thought this was a freaking gun at first. Uh, Holy cow. Look, look does, at the tip though. on there and the trigger dude. hole, man. Yeah. I got excited a little too quick on that one, you guys. Check out this one, dude. We got ourselves the old beaten pipe. Holy cow, man. Some nice scrap weight here was probably like a water line or something like that at one point you guys not bad another like three or four pounds to add to the scrap pile dude this is a piece of siding literally is it really? yeah this is the piece that you lay the siding in that's a, this is like the siding track what the oh no kidding yeah right <laughs> what in the world is this doing in here i i mean, it like got hooked on the magnet because that's not even magnetic yeah because that's aluminum isn't it no it's plastic oh it's plastic uh. oh <laughs> oh, it is plastic okay. or vinyl. It's gonna be or vinyl. Whatever. Yeah, right. Oh, look at this one, dude. Got the horseshoe. Oh, Check nice. it out, man. This one's in great shape, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 
that? Why is there so many of them? I have no idea, dude. We probably have just about as many horseshoes now as like railroads. Yeah, so dude, like, right? Coming back to back. Crazy, dude. I think a good idea is to look up like what old businesses used to be here. Does anything have to do with like stables or horses? But yeah, this is like the third one for me today. And Fisher has pulled up three or four. Holy cow, you guys. Talk about lucky. Oh my gosh, if this is magnetic, this is definitely the heaviest thing of the day, you guys. I can feel it just scraping along the bottom here. I hope I can get it up over the rock ridge, which I think we are too, dude. Oh, what do we got here? <gasps> Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, we got ourselves the old metal school chair, it looks like, man. Holy cow, that's cool. The entire cushion of it is missing. But doesn't it remind you of like a 90s classroom or something like that, dude? Super cool. You ain't sitting in this one no more, man. Oh, look at that too. That's more school evidence, you guys. You're gonna have your pen to go with your chair while you're sitting in class. What an epic throw there, you guys. Oh, some more weight, dude. We picked this up just as we were about to get it out of the water here, you guys. And it looks like this is certainly two separate pieces there. I almost wonder if they're connected in some way, but really weird bracket here, man. Kind of looks like a weird face, doesn't it? Hey, and check this out too. You can give it a little mouth. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Super cool. Oh, look at that one, dude. Holy cow, I'm having a hard time getting that off the magnet. That is super stuck on there. Ugh. But look at this, dude. This almost looks like a linkage that they use to like connect railroad carts together. Something like that, you guys. This thing was meant to pull some serious weight here. I don't think you use anything like this for a boat. And if it was for a boat, it would be a real big one, you guys. It just wouldn't be necessary to have this hanging off a side of a fishing boat. I am definitely open to more ideas of what you think about this one here, man. Holy cow. Does this look like uh, the piece that they link the trains together or something oh, with? Them, uh, oh man, I always draw a blank when I come yeah. to these things. What the heck are these called, you guys? Um, ah, I don't know. You put a <laughs> pin through there and it's like a, it's like right. a locking nut kind of. Okay, right. Yeah. I forget what they're called. Super cool though, man. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I found Definitely a couple meant of those. to pulse or hang some serious weight, dude. That's this probably thick. one of the bigger ones I've ever yeah, seen. That's cool, dude. There's an old battery terminal on there, dude. That's pretty cool. I've never pulled one of those up before. I think that's off like an automotive engine, dude. That looks identical to the ones that I use every single day. Another item off the bucket list, you guys. Super cool. We are absolutely killing this spot tonight, you guys. I'm so happy that we came down here. This was such a good idea. No way. Look at it. Did you find one? It's just a little piece, but yes. Probably just like a BB gun. Oh yeah, or something look at that, because dude. Because it's super tiny, That's but dude. That's awesome looking. That, <laughs> look at the shape of this, Heck dude. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe that's Look like a that, toy man. or something. It, I don't it's know. It's gotta be that the shape it's of it just doesn't make sense. Tiny. Even if it was like long, imagine that hand. Right? Look at this. Look at the shape. Pew, pew, what in the pew, world, pew, pew, pew. That's gotta know. be like a 22 or something. I mean, if this is a Smaller real gun. Smaller than that, you're talking yeah, like a BB, BB gun or pellet or something. Yeah. Nice find though, dude. Holy Super cow. cool. I seen the trigger. I'm like, no. <laughs> right. Awesome, man. Heck yeah, you guys. Every time you see a little gun cart coming up, it's such a run. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, dude. We got us like a really strange ring, man. I don't know, dude, maybe like some sort of like a hub flange for something. There is six different squares all evenly spaced apart there, you guys. It almost looks like a base for like an umbrella or like a patio set, you guys. That's the only thing that I could really come up with just shooting from the hip there. Oh, what in the world? Just like a giant rebar, dude. This thing is sharp at the end. Holy cow, man. That could be used as a weapon for sure. 
It probably made for like a big tent stake or something, dude. Look at how mushroomed over the top is. This thing has been used more than a few times. I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's the front half of those metal skates. Actually, I can't tell if it's the front or the rear of the skates. I'm sure someone else can help me by commenting. Now I know where those keyways were. I've found a couple of those as well, you guys. So does the key adjuster go on the front of the skate or typically on the rear? Judging by the shape and the angle of the wheels on there, I would say that this was the rear part of it. But who really knows? Super cool, man. And I also forgot what year that these were used in as well. Way before my time. Shut up, you found yes. the key. You found the key? No <laughs> way. I just, so I don't know if the front or the rear half of the skate is the one that locks in with the key. What but in I don't, the world? Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the keyway, but we know that this yeah. is what it's for, at least, you guys. Super cool, man. Holy cow, you guys. Literally like the same right? throw. He That's just pulled crazy. out the skate. And I pulled out at least what I we think pull is out the old one skate of these, key. If we could pull out one of these in a single piece, dude, that would be wild. That'd be, That'd be cool. super cool. Ooh, look at that long piece of scrap metal there, dude. That's a weird one. We'll just throw that in the pile. Anything else cool on here? You got this weird looking doohickey. Ooh, we just broke him directly in half. Oh, whoopsies. Yeah, not much going on on that throw, you guys. I do have a little bit more time, you guys. What do you say we get a few more throws in and see if we can finish strong? Ooh. This feels nice and consistent here, you guys. The rocks are a little more brutal, but I think we got it up and over the ridge until I got done saying that, and it falls right off, you guys. Let's get right on top of that again and see what happens. Oh, oh, are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Oh, we are, dude, here it is. Yes, what do we got? Dude, it's another chair. Oh my gosh, dude! Unreal! Look at this one, man! There's half of it left! Holy cow, has this been down there for a while? I feel like if I unfold this, it's just gonna, like, disintegrate. <laughs> Should we try it anyways? Let's see what happens, huh? Oh, we're gonna get it out, you guys. Boom! Look at we got seating for two here, man. <laughs> wow. I can't believe how disintegrated this this metal chair is, dude. Had to have been down there for quite a long time, to dude. say the least. <laughs> look at that. You guys, look at Alex found a second chair. The chair, man. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing, though. It looks like a squirrel's been chewing on that sucker. There's like nothing left. Look at My goodness. <laughs> 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 the metal eating squirrel. Oh, look at this one, dude. A crescent wrench. This thing has a really weird finish on it there, dude. Doesn't it look like copper or something? I mean, it's like that all the way around there. Maybe it's like a pink paint. But yeah, it almost has like a copper finish too, dude. Really weird. Oh, yeah, if I can get this up over the rocks, you guys, this thing is going to be freaking heavy. Oh, look at this. What in the world? Dude, it's like a sled. Dude, is this a water ski or something? Look at this, man. It's like a piece of Santa sleigh, or it's like a water <laughs> ski a or something. No, look, it is a ski. Right. Whoa. It's a water no, no, ski, no, no, bro. No, 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 no. What? Let me see how heavy this is. Dude, is this off a of snowmobile? Oh, I know during the winter, people right, sit down, dude. they fly up and down no here with kidding. snowmobiles. Could you imagine if somebody sunk their snowmobile? Yeah, right. And you dude. just pulled the ski off of it? Dude, I wonder if there's Holy more cow, down there. Right? Holy cow. So maybe what I'm wow. thinking is a rock wall ridge is just a big snowmobile down there. Holy cow. Check this out, you guys. I really think Tyler's <laughs> right about that. Holy I think it's a cow. snowmobile. It's uh, pretty ski. heavy duty, like, that yeah. is solid steel, dude. For sure, dude. Wow. Epic find here, dude. Epic. 
That one is weird. You got the donut on a stick. Dude, heaviest thing that I've pulled up all day. Ooh. Holy cow. Dude. This thing is freaking heavy, yo. Point on it. Check this. Oh, dude. It's what like a Neanderthal spear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, look at this end too, dude. It almost looks like one of the gigantic, like a concrete uh, breaker upper. Yeah, okay. Bar, whatever dude, you're probably know, like right. One of those you big know? hydraulic yeah. jack things. Or, doom, doom, I don't know, doom, maybe. Doom, right? It's definitely got a big old point on it. Yeah, that it's sucker. definitely uh, industrialized. <laughs> this is a freaking... Uh, heavy duty item here. I just don't know what it is, but I'm glad he said, let's take one more throw, dude. Cause this is the heaviest thing that I've found all day. Definitely the best scrap weight and probably the most valuable thing that we found all day, you guys. Besides maybe the snowmobile ski. Oh my gosh, you guys, what an incredible day of magnet fishing here tonight. That idea to lower ourselves with that ladder down to that platform there is the best one that we've ever had there, you guys. One of the best spots that I've ever been at. Every single time that we threw our magnet in the water, we were pulling something brand new up. We found parts to guns, we found chairs, we found a shopping cart probably a couple hundred pounds worth of scrap metal too. But anyways, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for making it to the end of the video here. And I hope that I find more time to get back down to that same spot, you guys. There's much more ground to cover. So with that all being said, you guys have a great rest of your night.